During the day when we're running lots of power in the boxes, the electronics boxes, and it's getting hot on the ramp, we want to send fluid out to the coal plates and, and reject heat. At night, when it's cold on Mars, it gets down to about minus 100 C um, in the atmosphere at, at night. Then we want to keep all the heat inside the rover and on the ramp. We want to pick up as much heat as we can from the RTG, and so we would shut down the flow to the coal plates and open up the, the flow to the hot plates. Well, this, the simplest system, just take an aluminum tube and you bond it to an aluminum plate. That's kind of the simplest design. Um, and we found that design was sufficient for our top deck radiator, and that's what we did for the top deck. But on the ramp, where we had a lot of power and um, we really had to move a lot of heat, we really had to iterate on our design and optimize the design. The first thing we did was we wanted to increase the surface area of the tube. So instead of having a smooth wall tube, we had a tube that had fins, um, extended uh, pieces of aluminum that are going towards the center of the tube. So we get a much larger surface area. We, we tried to optimize the amount of surface area that we had uh, between the tube and the, and the plate. We, we created a trough that the tube could ride in as opposed to sitting on top of a plate. And then uh, we even went further than that. We put a cap over the top of the tube in the trough. Um, so again, kind of repeating the trough, the bottom part of the trough over the top of the tube as well, and creating another path for the heat to flow out of the tube down into the plate. So those were the design changes and optimizations that we did uh, to this uh, tube and plate design.